Hello everyone, welcome back to my canon world, and I know this is weird, like, not seeing my actual, like, face right now, but that's because today we are going to be doing the Nuclear Ramen Eating Challenge. Now, basically what this challenge is, is there's a specific brand of, actually I should be saying ramyeon, from Korea, and basically they are known for creating the hottest ramen in the world as reported by the Guinness World Records and you know a while ago like a few years ago they came out with the two times spicy version of it which is now currently the most spicier version of it and I saw it in the nearest Asian supermarket which like even though it's an Asian supermarket usually has more western stuff and I was like you know what this would be fun to react to seeing as I'm wondering how my Korean, not Korean, Caribbean background will like factor into this. Um, there's also the fact that no matter like what I eat, if it's spicy, my nose will run. That's just a natural reaction. But just because my nose run doesn't mean like I'm feeling the spice, if that makes sense. Like it'll be spicy and my nose will run, but like I won't be needing to drink a gallon of water or drink milk or anything like that. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this will play out. So um, you have to cook this a certain way. I believe it says, oh, you guys can't really see the instructions right now. It's being super weird. Um, come on camera, please focus. Okay, looks like the camera has decided to work with us. Um, and basically, I don't know if you can see here, but it says, um, put noodles into boiling water and simmer for five minutes. Then throw away the water and re and remain eight spoons of water. Put liquid sauce and stir fry 30 seconds more. Add flakes and stir well and serve. So basically we're going to be boiling this, if that makes sense, in a saucepan. Taking out most of the water, adding in the sauce, stir frying it, and then, you know, eating it. So let's start by getting our saucepan um, and then it says 600 milliliters of water so we're going to try and go as close to the instructions as possible. Alright now that we have our saucepan I will be measuring out 600 milliliters of water using this little measuring cup that came with a juicer that I have. So um, yeah we'll be doing that now. This will be this video will be a mix of time lapse and me actively speaking. And now I will be putting the saucepan on the stove to let it simmer. Well, no, not simmer. Let it get to boiling temperature and then simmer the noodles. So I decided, um, I think I'll go with medium temperature because that's a pretty good temp. Okay, so as you guys can see, the water has now come to a boil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the ramen pot pack. Wow, pack it. A pair of kitchen scissors, you know, uh, safety first kits. And let's see, I'm at least glad that it's, you know, like, it's, I, I like, it's a hot chicken flavor ramen. I wonder if they'll maybe branch out to like hot shrimp or hot beef or hot fish or lobster or something like that but yeah um, we have to let this simmer for five minutes so actually before I cut this I'm going to set a timer on the stove uh, timer five minutes and then once again I'm gonna cut this open okay stove be quiet I'm not ready for the timer yet actually it might be easier to just open this with my hand Or not. Oh, it's meant to be like torn open. I am just not a very smart individually apparent individual apparently today. Alright. Oh. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they're Korean style noodles. Kinda remind me of um yakisoba noodles, but yeah, I'm gonna pop this in here. Start the timer. Some noodle pieces drop, so I'll have to sweep those up. 
And then in the pack, it also comes the pepper flakes that you're supposed to add later, as well as the pepper sauce. So yeah. All right, so next I'm going to grab a fork and just, you know, um, give it a, a little stir around. It's not ready for me to flip it yet so the other side can cook, but yeah, I'm just gonna let that sit there for a while. And about halfway through with the timer, I'll, um, whatchamacallit, flip it. Okay guys, so the timer is up and the next thing I'm going to be doing is actually um, removing most of the water from this. So I'm gonna do, grab the handle. And it's said to keep about eight spoonfuls of water in. So I'm gonna try and like estimate that to be honest. All right guys. Um, so that's a little bit less than eight spoonfuls, but you know what? I, I tried my best. Now what we're going to do is put in the liquid sauce and stir fry this for about 30 seconds, it says. So I'm going to whip out the kitchen scissors and also put this on like medium low, so around a three. Get this liquid sauce and just cut it open. and pour it in. It's dark red, which is usually a good sign. All right, and then it says to stir fry it. So now I'm gonna turn up the temperature a little bit, grab my fork, and mix it around because it's supposed to like properly stir fry, so the temperature needs to be high. This is a little more than 30 seconds, yes I know, but I didn't let it properly get to the right temperature. And I know it's not supposed to be this much liquid left. So slight adjustment. Starting to look how I would like it to. That looks about right to me. So I'm gonna turn off the heat. Ah, look at that guys. And the next step it says to do is add the flakes, stir well, and serve. So I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna grab the flakes. Kinda get open once again. love how it just did not open the way I wanted it to. Gonna add in the flakes. Ah! No! The poor flakes! Oh, I got most of it in. Now I'm going to stir it well. stirred well and now to serve Alrighty. get that all in there that looks great 
<sighs> you know, if I had this another time, definitely would want to spice it up by adding something like sausage or bacon or just green onions or anything else. So we're going to go ahead and move to the table. Okay, guys, so now we're here and it's time to try this infamous nuclear ramen. I did add a few green onions to it. And I have a cup of almond milk, just in case it does turn out to be really spicy. And yeah, I'm laying. let's, I maybe, I should have probably, you know, brought some tissue as well. Because as I said earlier, you know, my nose happens to run whenever I'm having something spicy. But yeah, let's just get into it. it smells really good. You know what guys it is spicy but it's good and I think I might actually have to take a sip of milk Woo! oh I'm feeling the burn Like, I'm able to eat it, it's just that it's spicy. Ooh. My eyes are actually tearing up. I did not think it would be this spicy. Whew, I might have to actually go grab some tissue. So with that, I definitely would not recommend trying this challenge, okay? This ramen was just terrible, okay? I feel like my, my lips are still kind of burning, and I don't know what kind of spice they used in that, but it was crazy, all right? It was not like any other ramen I've ever had before. It didn't make my nose run like other spicy stuff did but it made my eyes water and I was like no ma'am I don't know if you guys were able to tell but I had to like go to the bathroom and flush out my mouth to numb it down a little bit because there was no way I was finishing this all in one go and anybody who is able to is not human and they need to be returned back to their planet so moral of the story don't try this ramen. I tried it for you, all right? There's like 
four noodles left in this or something and I might subject my family members to this because they need to feel my pain as well but if you guys made it this far into the video thank you guys so much for watching I've been uploading a lot more recently if you haven't already definitely check out my last few videos I let out a story time video and by the time this video comes out a gentrification video and any other video topics you would like me to see um no not see video topics to cover just drop it down in the um, comment section below leave a like um as i said comment subscribe make sure that you share this video with all your friends and family and tune in to all other videos because during this quarantine time, I definitely, y'all, when I say this spice is clearing, like, I don't even know, my nostrils and my breathing and everything, it is clearing it out. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I definitely plan to release more videos while we're still in quarantine because I should have done that before. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing, but there has been a lot going on. Um, if you don't know, you should definitely check out my social justice poetry book, My Candid Words. The link is always in the description box below if you want to check it out. As well as any other social media links or links like to my business where I sell stuff like bedazzled keychains and calculators and anime inspired sweaters and face masks and just a host of different things over there. You can definitely check out my website and the other links there if you would want if you wanted to find another way of supporting me besides just watching my videos definitely number one thing is to check out my instagram because that's where i have the most engagement with you guys it's where i host polls on my story to decide what my next video will be and when i will release it so if you are interested in having that kind of you know intuition on what video is going to be next then i highly recommend that and with that i will see you guys in the next video